new information this morning, kids at a Madison Juvenile Detention Center will be moved to different locations across the state. This comes one week after the Madison City Council decided not to renew Sequel's business license and give, gave them seven days to shut down. Police in the past year say there have been three escapes from that facility, and today it's expected to close. Way 31's Casey Albritton has been out there all morning long for us. She joins us live now with an update on that moving process. Casey. I've been standing here in front of Sequel all morning, and no buses have arrived yet to pick up those kids, but I did speak to an employee who said that the teens will be moving today, Thursday, and Friday. But take a look, a U-Haul got here about an hour ago, then 15 minutes later it moved behind the building. The Department of Youth Services says they have been coming up with a plan since last Thursday. And because they were given a seven-day deadline, the program at Sequel can't be moved. Instead, the teens are being relocated based off of their individual needs. So some will be moving to their own homes, some will move to group homes, and to others will go to youth service, other youth service campuses in the state. I did reach out to the Department of Youth Services to get a little bit more detail on this move, and I'll let you know as soon as they get back to me. Reporting live in Madison, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.